E3 feels closer than ever, as this is definitely the spring of leaks. What's going on, everybody? It's Ghost Robo, and let's cut right to the chase. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, it looks all but certain at this point. A number of little leaks lead up to today's big leak, where Amazon Italy posts a listing for the game and abruptly takes it down. It said Modern Warfare 2 Remastered hitting PS4 and Xbox One on April 30th of this year, which is very soon. The price was pretty interesting as well, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, this would be very reminiscent of Modern Warfare 1 Remastered's leak, where a standalone edition was seen on June 20th, and then Activision announced it on June 23rd. That game was originally packaged with Infinite Warfare, and there was a lot of talk leading up to that announcement, but once again with the standalone, a couple days, boom, and it's out. It's very similar, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. Now, to trace the origin, Marcus Sellers, who seems to gain notoriety on the daily, mainly because of his Nintendo stuff. He correctly predicted the recent Direct, as well as the recent 5.0 uh, software update, as well as Black Ops 4, as well as Dark Souls Remastered. He's had some misses, but he seems to have some feelers in some pretty secret places. Predicted that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would be announced this month. And then Raven Software, on Wednesday, posted a picture of some sort of banner or standee in their office that looks very reminiscent of imagery from Modern Warfare 2. And then today, we have the whole Amazon Italy thing. Now, the price is listed at 20 euros, which would be about $25. Now, that's notably cheaper than a full price game, and even quite a bit of a step down from Modern Warfare 1 Remastered, which initially launched at $40. I'm not sure if I believe that price. It seems like it would be odd for Activision to charge that low of a price for this beloved game that people are super hyped for, especially giving it an April release. There's not a whole lot of other shooters out there competing, and it could probably do very well at 40. So I don't know about the price, but the date, I believe that, and the game, I definitely believe that. Raven Software handled Modern Warfare 1 Remastered. They're gonna be on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, and it just makes sense. Plus, they saw a lot of sales of that standalone. A lot of players initially preferred Modern Warfare over Infinite Warfare, so I don't think attaching it on to this year's game makes sense, and I feel like Black Ops 4 can carry its own without any sort of additional content. Now with MW1, they actually launched the game four days after announcing the standalone version, but it hit PlayStation first. It then came to Xbox and PC later. I wonder if we'll see something similar, or if they'll just go across the board this time. That listing would have you believe that it will at least be on Xbox One and PS4 day and date, but we'll have to see. I could see some of those details being currently murky. And if it is launching April 30th, do they wait a little bit longer? Or given that MW1 Remastered was already in Infinite Warfare, they didn't need as much lead-up time for the standalone, so maybe they do take a month and a half and announce this thing soon. We've heard rumblings of Spyro coming soon. That would be an Activision joint. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered coming soon. Activision seems to be sitting on announcements, and it looks like they will be launching these prior to E3, if not the games, at least the announcements. But let me know how pumped you are for a Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Edition, and really what I want to know is, are you more excited to play that or Black Ops 4? Personally, I'm always a fan of the brand new. I just find it way more exciting and exhilarating, so I'll be putting my coins in the Black Ops 4 bin, but let me know where you'll be dropping your cash first, and let me know if you think this is legit. I sure do, but I want to know your take. So in the comments down below, talk at me. Modern Warfare 2, are you pumped? Do you think it's primed for an April 30th launch, and are you more pleased about that than you are Black Ops 4? Let me know in the comments down below. It's shaping up to be a crazy year for games. We already have the leaks of Battlefield 5. Black Ops 4, now Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, we got the Division a little bit earlier, potential Splinter Cell, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, what is going to be saved for E3? Because Smash is out, all these games are out, I hope they have some super cool stuff. And if we're to believe some of the people like Marcus, maybe we even get a new console announcement. We'll have to wait until June for that. In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for watching, I love you, have a fantastic day, drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.